And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a very exciting patch announcement. We got patch 2.5 is now live. At least the patch notes are live. It will go live in uh, Runeterra tomorrow. Um, it says it said just on the intro that there was a bunch of card changes, and that's what we're all been excited about of seeing what these card changes are going to be, how it's going to shake up the metagame. To tell you the truth, I haven't seen any of this yet. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with these card changes. So this is going to be brand new for me as well. I haven't read through this yet. Um, so here's the live reaction for patch 2.5. Let's get to it. All right, so there's the metagame snapshot at the beginning. And um, I don't, don't really need to go through all this if you want. You know, you can kind of pause or, you know, go through all this if you want. Um but, you know, they, they say their their thing. But here we go. Card updates. All right. Twisted Fate. Okay, so it's going to just be changed from 8 to 9. Okay, so it goes to an odd number there at 9. I don't love that. I kind of wish it would just go to 10. <laughs> it just I don't love the odd number of 9. But, okay, so now it looks like Twisted Fate level up has changed. Um, so there, there we go. So there is a little bit of a nerf to Twisted Fate. It's not a big nerf, right? Because that's the thing... Okay, so whenever um, Riot makes these changes to the cards, they don't want to kill cards, right? Like, you don't want to just, like, nerf Twisted Fate so it's not playable anymore. So you you uh, walk a fine line of, you see, okay, Twisted Fate's maybe a little too good. We need to change it, but we don't want to completely kill the card. Because, you know, people that have used, like, their wild cards on Twisted Fate, you don't want them to be uh, real sad and not be able to play the card anymore also. So, looks like, uh, alright, so Twisted Fate's now going to be at 9. All right, let's see. Our next one is Fiora. So Fiora is going to a 3-2. Okay, it is. It is changing. So uh, it's going to be more difficult for Fiora to survive. That's a big change. Like, there, there's a huge difference between 2 power and 3 power, uh, especially for challengers. This, honestly, is a really big change. This is... The, the Twist of Fate one, this isn't going to really affect Twist of Fate too much. It's just 9 cards. Um, but the Fiora one, that's going to affect Fiora a bunch of going to two health. Um, that that really does change the card. Now, is Fiora better than Laurent Protégé? Maybe not. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, obviously, you know, it has like this clause and everything like that. But just, you know, a 2-4 two, a two challenger is better than a 3-2 challenger. I guess I could, that's, that's what I mean. Obviously, the rest of Fiora is going to be good. But um, yeah, so there, that's a big change to Fiora. All right, what else we got? Jarvan. All right, Jarvan's going to a 6-4. Okay, I, I was saying that I would prefer Jarvan at 5-5. Five, 6-4, five. Um, definitely better than 5-3. Three. The 3 health for a 6-mana champion was really unnecessary with the Jarvan. That was honestly too weak. Um, I still would prefer Jarvan at 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five would be better than 6-4. Um, but we'll we'll take 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four is, that's a, you know, a nice upgrade. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll take that. It does, it does mean it can kill more things with the 6 power. Then maybe it couldn't tap before, um, but once it doesn't have the barrier, you know, it's still going to have four health for six power, which isn't amazing, but okay. Okay. So there we go. Let's see. We got Shivana. Ooh, they nerfing Shivana, but adding Fury. Okay. Okay. So now Shivana's going back to a 3-4 instead of a 4-4, four, a four, four, but adding Fury. That's actually not really a nerf, actually. That's actually maybe a buff. Yeah, that's actually probably a buff, having Fury on the, the first end. So whenever um, Shivana kills something, it can turn into a 4-5 instead of being a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, maybe it's it's not... I guess it's not too much of a buff. Because, yeah, like that... You know, that one less power is a big deal. So it's, it's kind of a sideways move. I think this is a lateral move. But um, I think it, it helps... Um, the Dragon Chow decks, people wanting to play Dragon Chow with Shivana, that definitely helps that, right? Because now Shivana kills Dragon Chow still, and then gets turned into a 4-5, and then has 3 out of 12 for level up, and now it's a 4-5, and then it can attack and be a 5-6, right? So, like, it re that's, like, the thing, it really helps your Dragon Chow, um, quite a bit. So, that, that's pretty nice. So, I, so, yeah, I think, I think this is kind of a buff, honestly, but it's... I think that's a good change. I like that. So Shivana's got Fury now. That's cool. Yeah, Shivana alone's not really better, but I mean, maybe. I, Shivana's better with like her her champion spell, like strafing strikes and and single combats and stuff like that. Um, you know, having that Fury like it that's better than what 
uh, the old Shyvana was with uh, fight spells. So you're you're definitely more incentivized to play fight spells and Dragon Chow now with Shyvana. And I like that. I think that's cool. Lulu! Yes! Thank you! Finally! Lulu! A 3-3. Like I've been saying the whole time. Lulu should just be a 3-3. Either a 2-4 or a 3-3, but a 2-3 was just not playable. So yes, thank you. Yes, I'm so excited. Lulu. <laughs> Y'all know me, I love my support champions. Love playing Lulu decks. Um, my Lulu, Lulu Fiora was the, the best Lulu deck that I had. My Fiora's now got nerfed, but that's okay. Because we buffed up Lulu, so that's cool. Yes. So there we go. Super excited about 3-3 Lulu. So yeah, they're changing a bunch. Okay. Ooh, pick a card. Pick a card has changed now. Looks like it's it's two mana draw two. I like that. That's a good good change. That still makes the card very playable. Like a two mana card that draws two is is really playable. You y'all may kind of be surprised. Like this is not. Hmm. It's a nerf for leveling up Twisted Fate, but it's kind of a buff to pick a card. Like it's easier because it's hard to to draw. It's like hard to get rid of three fleeting cards in one turn, but it's very easy to get rid of two fleeting cards in one turn, right? Like that. Like that's a big difference. That that second and third card. Um, so this actually makes pick a card much more playable in in other decks. Like you really had to have like a low to the cost deck, like low to the ground deck, like with a deck with like a ton of low cost cards to play pick a card before with the draw three. But now how it is, it's kind of like this is. This kind of like really hurts salvage, right? Like this is it's like why play salvage when you can spend two mana to draw two, and yes, they get to the fleeting the next round, and you get them the next round. But it's you know at two mana that's such, you know, like two mana is nice for this. Um, like yeah, so two mana draw two is is awesome. So yeah, this kind of it it kind of goes with like your glimpse beyonds and stuff like that of like other two mana draw twos. But yeah, this is. So this is a it's a nerf to leveling up Twisted Fate in at one um at one end of the spectrum. So like your your decks that were sp specifically like built around Twisted Fate and a bunch of low cost spells, it's a nerf to those. Like the, basically the decks that are playing pick a card right now, but this is also a buff to pick a card and this is going to allow pick a card to go into a lot of different decks that it, it didn't before. Um yeah, like this is this gives other bilge water decks um, something good. Like, I mean, you can play this in, like, a Nautilus deck now. <laughs> you know? Uh, draw two fleeting. Yeah. Burble fish. Alright, what do we do? Ugh, just made it a 2-1. Gross. I was, I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather it still stay a 3-1 and get rid of the created card, but it looks like it's gonna keep the created card. But just go to a 2-1. So it's still nerfed. I'm still happy about it. It's more difficult for a board of 2-1s and then 3-2s after a territory improvement to kill you. But, you know, I, I would have preferred the free card to go away over the 1 power. Um, so it's not it's not too much of a purple fish nerf. But it's, it's obviously a little bit of a nerf. So, you know, gotta be happy about it. Still, still a nerf. Yep, still strictly a nerf, right? Definitely a, a difference between two and three for sure. So it is a it is a, a strict nerfed for sure. Whoa! All right, they're buffing dredge dredgers again. Yeah, so dredge dredgers was a two one. It was too good, and then they moved it back to to a one one. But deep decks have really struggled. People don't really play deep anymore, so they're like, why not just make dredge dredgers a two one again? I like it. You know, maybe that'll help out the deep decks. So yeah, I like it. That's a that's a pretty big buff right there. It's because this makes Dredge Dredgers a good attacker again, right? Like that was the thing. It's like Dredge Dredgers didn't really attack or block very well, right? Right? Like even though it's like a, a one, you know, it's the one drop that is like the most important card in the deck. But at one one, you could fairly easily attack through it at one one. But now at two one, it blocks profitably. And, you know, all the three, like all the two mana three twos in the format, you can block a three two, right? Like Dredge Dredgers kills Fiora now. Like how crazy is that, right? Like Fiora, that, that Fiora nerf is going to be big, by the way. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty, uh, that's, that's pretty good. So hopefully that will get some more deep back in the format. It probably will. 
Whoa. Dreadway costing eight? Okay. That's a big, that's a huge buff to Dreadway costing eight now. Because this card is incredibly powerful. But, you know, it costs nine. So, yeah, so they, they wanted to get rid of the timeline Ledros combo, which I, I agreed to get rid of that. But I, my, my theory of, like, my way to, to change that was to, like, buff up the Dreadway, but then make it 10, right? Or make Ledros 10. Like, make take one of those cards, buff them up a little bit, make them 10. Because either one of those effects are really powerful and, and down at eight mana. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be pretty big. Like, this makes this very playable in Bilgewater mid-range decks and your Gangplank mid-range decks. It makes this much more playable. Yeah, this this could this could change things. Yeah, that that's that's pretty scary. Shadow Assassin, thank you. Make it a 2-1. It's still it's 2-1 we're 2 one's a conversation now, right? 1-2 was just not a conversation of playability. Like it just wasn't playable at 1-2. You just can't have you can't spend 3 mana and then attack for 1 and expect to ever kill your opponent. So it just it just wasn't even a conversation. But now at 3 at at 2-1, at least it's a conversation cuz now it you know it's like the Burble fish, you know, like attacking for two each turn with an elusive, you can talk about it. And so like decks that you want this, you know, you can definitely talk about it. I still think that this is perfectly fine at two two, just like um, Zap Sprayfin. I, especially for how weak Ionia is compared to the other regions, I would have just put this back to two two myself. I, would, you know, just compare, you know, like Sprayfin costs one more, but Sprayfin kind of tutors and it also attunes. And, you know, Bilgewater is a lot better region than Ionia. I think that this could easily just be a 2-2 still. But at, at least it's a 2-1. That's still, that's an upgrade over 1-2. Um, not, you know, not a huge upgrade, but it's it's in the conversation of playability again. So, yeah. you could, We can definitely put Shadow Assassins in, deck, in decks again. Fey Guide, what's up? Ooh, Fey Guide a 3-4. I've always liked Fey Guide. Y'all have known me. I, I play Fey Guide in a lot of decks. I like Fey Guide in Lulu decks, giving Lulu elusive. So I'm very happy with 3-4 Fey Guide for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm in there. I'm happy with 3-4 Fey Guide. I like it. Okay, they're buffing Legion Rear Guard back. Okay, so that's that's changing back again. So instead of because they they printed you know the Sharima card that was the three one, and this is like a three one that can't block, and so that's kind of weird. So now it's going back to the three two can't block. All right, that definitely makes, um, yeah. So they're saying it's strictly worse than than other cards over time. So that you know that makes this a very playable one drop in Noxus again. Noxus has good one drops. Okay, that's cool. I like that change. Sea Scare to a 2-3. I like this change as well. That's that's a pretty big buff. Like a 2-3 trades with all sorts of stuff. And then, you know, it, it is the deep card that can turn into a 5-6 now whenever you go deep. Um, yeah, so they're they're buffing up the deep strategies, um, which I'm, I'm fine with, right? <laughs> you know, buff up everything besides that's not Targon. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, so that... So, uh, Deep's looking pretty good with like the reinvigorated one drop, two drop um, for defense there. Looking good. So, so far, basically all these changes have been like, these are all good changes. That's the thing. Like Riot does a, a real good job with these. All right. So esteemed Aerophant, when I'm summoned advance your buried sun disc two rounds to now when i'm summoned advance your buried sun disc three rounds all right so basically it doesn't really change the card very much um you know but it is it is a little bit of a buff to the sun disc decks so right now sun disc starts at what 25 and so if you level up one champion that's at 15 and 15 rounds is a ton but now if you go like two let's say you have two of these so you advance one one champion for 10 of it so now you have 15 play two of these that gets rid of six of it so now you're looking at turn nine um you know sun disc like th so that th this really does make it where you don't like before you kind you basically had to level up two champions otherwise like you just couldn't really do it but now with this being three 
That does make it like much more easy to get Sun Disk. All you need is one leveled up champion. So you just got to play like 10 units and then play an Azir after you play your 10 units. So your Azir is leveled up and then just play like two of these and, you know, play like a mid-range deck that like you go to turn nine and then turn nine, you get your, uh, you know, restored Sun Disk. So that, that's a real thing. So that definitely makes this um, a card to, you know, really think about now in your Sun Disk decks. Then if you have, you know, because if you draw like multiple of these, maybe you have um, Ancient Hourglass and Ancient Hourglass uh, protects this and then brings it back. And then that's, it is a summon. So then that's three more rounds, you know, like if, so if you have like Ancient Hourglass with this, maybe Atalia to copy that Hourglass. I don't know. You know, you can do those kind of shenanigans and you can really level up your Sun Disc pretty fast now. Callus Bone Crusher going to a 6-4 now. Okay, so buffing this thing up. This thing's huge. 6-4 for 4 mana is huge. Right, like that's that's the big... And then with Reputation only cost 2. Like this card? Not bad, not bad. The thing is, is there's a lot of great 4 drops in Shurima. They really did uh, fill up the 4 mana slot. Especially because like in this kind of a Reputation deck, you're probably playing Sivir. And then you also want to play Bakai Sand Spinner. So like you already have those two four drops, so you kind of just can't play the card, even though it's got really big stats and looks cool. You kind of can't keep playing more four drops, and you you already have to play Sand Spinner and Sivir. Then you also have like Renekton as well. They really overloaded that four mana slot in Ashurima. Yes! Thank you! Yes! Oh, thank you! Hurt Aphelios. I was worried about it when we went past the champions. We didn't see anything with Aphelios. So, alright, all of these moon weapons now cost three. Good. That makes them all much more... Uh, much more realistic as cards <laughs> you know like they're they do so much and at two mana for how much they do and then getting free two mana with veil temple it just it just all was just way too much so now at three it's still aphelios is still going to be very good but it's not going to be as completely dominant in a game where it's just you know like you play the lunari one drop and then turn three you just play a felios and you get a box to post also on turn three and then you know the next turn they get two more moon weapons and you're just dead at least it's not like that so that's good good i like it i like it very very uh very very happy with that oh but now gifts from beyond only cost one whoa all right, so I guess it's still because it costs four mana for the others, but that's a that's a good buff to give from Beyond because spending just one mana to make a moon weapon is pretty awesome. Um, I could definitely see playing gifts from Beyond in a lot of other decks that are not necessarily Aphelios decks because a lot of these cards are kind of worth worth it. And then you know because this is like two spells, right? It's you know so like all your all your champions that care about spells. Um. You have like your Burblefish, your Burblefish Targon decks. You're going to now be able to make gifts from Beyond with Burblefish, and those kind of cards. Um, yeah, like that could be pretty, like <laughs> that could be pretty awesome for Burblefish making a gifts from Beyond. Um, so yeah, that's that's a that's a good buff to gifts from Beyond. Ooh, Veil Temple. What they do? What they do? All right, so now it's only plus one, plus zero. So there, you're not adding in any health. I like that. So now it's going to still be a little easier to kill your Aphelios and everything like that. You still get your uh, two mana. And, okay, so it just gets rid of that one health. That's a, that's a big change. This is a bigger change. So Grand Plaza got changed like this too. Where Grand Plaza did plus one, plus one. Now it does plus one, plus zero. This is a bigger change than the Grand Plaza one. Because the Grand Plaza, it gives your things Challenger. A lot of the time, like, you could challenge and, and have your things trade up and they'll die. And, like, that plus one health wasn't that important. Sometimes it is, but, you know, not always. This, the plus one health, was always very important. Making your 
um, especially with Aphelios, making your Aphelios continue to be much bigger where you just couldn't kill it. Like you couldn't even challenge it anymore. You just couldn't kill it anymore. So this is a big change where your like Aphelios doesn't keep growing in health. Um, yeah, so this, this, this one's a much bigger, this will have a much bigger change to it than Grand Plaza did. Aphelios has not been deleted, but it, it just makes it more like the rest of the game, where it's not just much more powerful than the than everything else in the rest of the game. Yeah, hopefully we get some celestial nerfs. So far, so far, so good. Oh wait, that is that it? Oh no, that's it. No celestial nerfs. No. All right, but we did update Lava Legends. Ultra Rapid Draw. I don't know what that is, but that sounds cool. So Lava Legends has been updated. New champions. Ooh, we got Talia and Azir have joined the lineup. Nice. So now there's difficulty tiers. That is cool. That is really cool. I love that. Um, reward re-rolls. Re don't like your rewards? Toss them out for a new batch. You only have three re-rolls for each run. Okay, that's that's also pretty nice. And then run results. Share your glorious victories and painful defeats with new summaries added at the end of each run. That's really cool too. All right, so um, so they didn't add. You don't have different uh, people to play against, but you have the diff different difficulties. That's that's pretty awesome. Lab of Legends, let's go. So yeah, that's that's great. We got this cool new board. This board looks pretty cool. Who's this guy? It's like flexing and everything. He's got a big mustache. Oh, uh, Earth. Oh, I like this champion, Earth. Earth. Oh, I like this new champion. Favorite food, pancakes. Yeah, I don't know who this big mustache guy is. Looks like you got a fish. <laughs> yes, big flex. <laughs> oh, the mustache. Oh, the mustache guy is Irv. Wait. Okay, so this, this thing right here is this. Okay. What is there, like a walrus or something? A seal? Well, it has my seal of approval. I like it. The spatula. <laughs> Got some spatulas over here. Okay. Looks like, I guess Talia's art has been updated. I didn't see anything about that. I'm not sure what this maximum number of prime glories available from gauntlets reduced from five to four. Okay, so all gauntlets are now just the best of three format. And then some random bug fixes. Okay. <laughs> mimic before copied the champion spells. So, like, they use a champion spell, then you mimic it and use that champion spell so you get the champion in your deck. Oh, man, that, that would have been cool, but I guess they fixed that. Oh, wait. Lucky Find will no longer trigger a second spell cast upon selecting one of the three choices. That changes stuff. So Okay, so that was a bug. I didn't know that was a bug. So Lucky Find doesn't get two spells anymore for like the different decks we've done with like Puff Cat Peddler and Lucky Find and and stuff like that. So it's not going to be it's not two spells anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. You had a, you had a Heimer deck with Lucky Find. Yeah, I guess that I didn't know that was a bug. Oh, there's an option to disable uh, Prismatics. Yeah, add an, an on-off toggle for prismatic card styles. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So you don't have to use them if you don't want to. 
Good. Alright, we're getting better, man. Big, big time patch update here. Patch 2.5. Awesome, awesome update. Really like it. It's going to add in a lot of more variety into the format. Less Aphelios, less Fiora. A lot less Fiora if you don't if you don't like Fiora, but you know, hurt Twisted Fate, hurt Aphelios. Um, buffed up some cool stuff. I like playing Jarvan and Lulu. We're definitely going to have to try Dragon Chow with Shivana. That's going to be fun. Um, you know, helping out deep decks, if y'all like deep decks, and some different Ionian and Bilgewater stuff. Big time patch here. Awesome patch update for Legends of Runeterra. And we got this uh, awesome seal type thing with Earth. <laughs> Earth looks really cool. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What's your favorite? What, uh, what's your favorite update? Which cards are you like super excited they got buffed or super excited they got nerfed? What do you want to play after this update? What do you want to see me play? What kind of decks do you want to see me build with this new update? Uh, let me know in the comment section. All right, but that's all I got here for the patch 2.5 notes. This will be live tomorrow, Wednesday. Super excited for that. All right, but thanks for, for watching, everybody, and I will see you for the next video.